The next sound is the long A sound, pronounced as A. Examples include acorn. Now the word acorn, as you can see, begins with the letter A, and the letter A makes the long A sound. Acorn A. And just like that, the word apron also begins with the letter A. The letter A makes the long A sound. Apron A. And the next word is hay. Now, as you can see, the word hay has the A sound coming at the end of the word. And the A and the Y are both making the sound together, which means it is a diphthong. By the way, you can go check out my video on diphthong in the description below. Go ahead and watch that video. It just tells you all about diphthongs. Anyways, back to the words. Once again, it makes the long A sound. Hey, A. The next word is cake. Everybody loves cake, right? And we've seen the long A sound come in the beginning of words and the end of words, but we've never seen it in the middle of words. But cake has the A sound in the middle of the word. And the letter A makes the long A sound. Cake. And just like that, the word skate also has the A in the middle. The next word is table. And the next word is train. And as you can see here, we have another diphthong, A, I, all together making the long A sound, train. And once again, the A and the I together make the long A sound. Train. A. And now, I want to discuss about something that's pretty confusing. And that's the word eight. It's, it's a situation where you have the long A sound, and surprisingly, there's no letter A in the word. Instead, the letters E, I are making the A sound. I want to talk about this in a, in a future video. But right now, let's get into the review of what we just learned. So we just learned about the long A sound. And it can appear in the beginning, middle, or end of words. And it is pronounced as A. Examples include acorn, apron, hay, cake, skate, table, train, and eight.